We had a legacy work order management system. It really wasn't an asset management system. We had an electronic system, but we were actually printing out work orders for the construction and maintenance group. We wanted a system that was GIS-centric. We had a pretty robust GIS basis, but there was no marriage of information between the work order management system and GIS. We had a lot of pieces, they didn't connect, and we didn't develop the system to where we could make our system better. We had a mandate from the state of Georgia, EPD, that we had to video and evaluate a certain linear length of our sewer system. And we needed a system that was going to work for us and not against us. We've always wanted to be ahead of some of these issues. CityWorks has given us the opportunity to look at, analyze our problems, and also come up with preventive solutions to these problems. We've experimented with new things like SLRAP, sewer line rapid assessment tool. We're looking at new ways to scan manholes. What we do is from sizes 8, 10, and 12, there is a receiver and there is a transmitter. We can assess in an average time about three minutes. We come out to the site, have a work order. Work order on our work orders, we have our assets attached to the work order, what we're going to do an inspection on. So what we do, we come here, we select the asset. So you select a check mark, which will pull up what we want to create an inspection for, sewer gravity main. And at that point, we'll look for the SL rat, and we create an inspection form. This inspection form would then tie to a work order. It has a condition score from 0 to 10, SL rat ID and the unit number, the location, and it'll tie this asset that we're about to inspect to. What happens is it emits a sound. Based on the amount of opening in the sound, you get a score, a score from 0 through 10. The lower the score is, the more blocked the line is. What we do in that is, if the line score is a 3 or less, we go back and we clean the line, and then we recheck it with the SL rack. If it still has a low score, we CCTV the line. We find out whatever the issue is, we either clean it again, make a repair, or we dig it up and fix the line itself. CityWorks and ArcGIS help us have a central location and central point for everything else that occurs. If you can stay ahead of the curve, that's what you're looking for. Something that will stop you from having to react and then we get to be proactive and fix some of these problems before they go bump in the night. The location of assets is very important to us. It's like riding your bike with your eyes closed. GIS does the navigating for us. If you have quality, valuable information tied to that asset, you can evaluate things much easier geographically. By the use of CityWorks and being able to provide those field workers with the ability to evaluate situations on the spot, we have become a more proactive organization. Now we're in a mindset and the mode that we go out and find our problems before they happen.